I'm really grateful that I had taken screenshots of everything ahead of time because that is ultimately what saved me and was able to correct everything that I had with my boxes, which I'll go into that further. But if you are looking at purchasing these boxes from BoxyCharm again, if they ever bring these back, definitely take screenshots of what the post says, what the guaranteed amount is supposed to be. That way you will be safe. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today, boy do we have a lot to talk about. Like there is a lot to share in today's video. Recently, BoxyCharm announced on their mega drop shop, shop drop, I think that's what it is, mega drop shop. They had on their last sale these mystery bundles. They had two of them available, best of base mega bundles, and then they also had the best of premium and luxe bundle. Now, these were not cheap. These were $200 each, but the promise was made that you would receive at least $1,900 worth of products back for your $200. Now, I took screenshots of everything because I wanted to know. I wanted to know if these were good, if they were bad, what they were like. So I went ahead and spent $400. I bought one of each of them and I received in the mail, oh, I just lost $400. It was not a good day. So for today's video, we are going to be opening up the best of base mega box. I will be posting up a separate video for the best of premium and Lux only because it's way too much to put into one video. And inside that were a whole bunch of other boxes. And then all of your products are inside of those. I knew it would, there was just no way this was equaling out to this $2,000 retail value that they had promised. So I went ahead and opened up every one of these boxes. I added up every product from my boxes, all of the retail values, because they included it in all of the boxes. I came to a grand total of $1,000. So I was missing half of the promised retail value that they originally had stated. I was supposed to receive 60 items, but instead I received 32 items. I did approach BoxyCharm, they did end up refunding me, so in the end, I ended up paying only $108 for all 32 items that I have here today. So I give this as a warning because if you buy this, double check everything. Don't trust that BoxyCharm shipped out your entire order because they missed half of it. I don't know how or why, but they were not able to give me new products or send me more mystery boxes. They could only give me a flat cash refund. All in all, not a great experience to start off their mystery boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these boxes today and I'm gonna show you what I received inside of my boxes. These are all previous variations that we have had from times past. I am a little nervous about a couple of them because they are like two years old. So it does make me a little nervous about products that have been sitting for two years. The first box came from September of 2020. The first product inside is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. So these are all full-size products, which is nice, and I do love this product. Then I received from Phase Zero, this is their Blush and Bronzer Trio Palette. So there is a mirror inside, and then we had a blush bronzer and then we've got a little bit of a warmer combo of the two also received inside of this box a palette from hip dot and this is their zion palette it's a gorgeous palette i really do like this one a lot so this is what this palette looks like i also received a trio of masks and they are for your eyes you have your lips and then also a face mask and then i also received from laura geller the mascara my second box then was from October of 2020. And inside of this box, we did receive from Spongel a body wash infused buffer. This was a special limited edition that they did and it was the Cherry Tonka Musk scented buffers. I received from Tarte the Miracle Mist setting spray. From Sol de Janeiro, I received the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter. I also had a palette from Real Her. This was the Ultimate Glow Getter palette. So this is going to be your blush, your bronzer, and then also your highlighter. So there was a little bit of all three included inside of this one. And the last item inside of this box was from Beauty Bakery and it's their Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. 
I do love Beauty Bakery because they have the cutest beauty items ever. And this is what the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette looks like then. They're really soft matte shades. The next box is also from October of 2020. And this one is a slightly different variation than the one before. I received in here the Frank Body Glow Mask. So this is the palette that I received from Ciate London. This is that editor palette and then it was the New England variation. There was a Luxie brush kit and it had this first of all bag to carry them in and it's got like a rose gold trim here and then inside of it there were some Luxie brushes. So I had one spoolie and then four different brushes themselves. This they're really pretty. I do like this rose gold touch that they have along with like the blue handles. And of all of the brushes out there, Luxie is always one of my favorite brush brands. So I am really excited about this. I could have taken one of these in every one of the boxes only because I always need eyeshadow brushes. Next up was from Ace Beauty and I have their Draw It Lip Liner. So this was a set of two lip liners and these are going to be the shades that were included then. So this one is Be Peachy, and then my bottom one was in the shade So Gorgeous. And last item is from First Solly. This is their Moisture Replenishing Serum, or their Quench one. This is an expensive product, so I am happy to have this one. Opening box number four now, I received a box that was from July of 2020, and they just had a card that was blank, apparently. I got the Levito Nourishing Hand Cream. And then I also have from Matte Cosmetics, one of their matte lipsticks. This is in the shade Lady Danger, number 607. It's a really bright red bullet lip. Followed by from Biro, this was their Tomato Serum. I think I remember liking this one a lot. This was just a skincare item. Manny, MUA, and Morphe, this was the palette that they collabed over. So this was the Glam palette and it doubled up as an eyeshadow palette, but it also had highlighters in them. So it was something different and unique. I ended up, I only used a couple of the shades. I like the really bright pink and I did use the highlighters, but that's all I really used of my palette then just cause it was a little too neutral for me. The final product inside of that box was from Luna Magic and this was a brush kit set again. This one, I still have these from the first time that I got them. There's four eyeshadow brushes inside and they're like this really fun, bright, colorful kit. I don't really keep this just because it's kind of cheap, but the brushes are really good. And box number five now we're going to open up and this one is going to be the January 2021 box. So this was their Fresh Start theme. So this one I have the Iconic London palette. This was called the Blaze Chaser Face Palette. And inside we had a blush, some highlighters, bronzers as well. This was actually a decent palette. I did use this one and I was really impressed with it. I didn't think it was gonna be great, but it ended up being really good. From Avant, this was their Hyaluronic Acid Micellar Water. So this was 200 ml here. It's so pretty with the different colors. I just love that. From Ella Miz, their Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. We got two palettes inside of this box. So this one is the Violet Voss All of You Forever Eyeshadow Palette. It's so funny because I do feel like I'm having deja vu when I'm opening up these boxes because I reviewed and opened all of these boxes up on my channel. And I remember when this came out that I was like, I don't see olives in this palette because it's not green. Like the palette looked green, but then inside there was only a couple of shades. And all of my subscribers were like, Sydney, olives are not only green. There's black olives, there's brown olives, there's all different colored olives. So basically I remember making a fool of myself when I opened up this palette. I also got from the Queen Studio, this is their Dragon Duo eyeliner. So we received an eyeliner in there. And then I also got from Persona a lip gloss. And this was in the shade Toffee. So it just has a tint of brown to it, like a reddish brown color to that one. One final box that I received, and this is box number six. This box was also from January of 2021 as well. 
And inside of this box, we have a few repeat products compared to the other one. So I received again, another Iconic London palette and another Violet Voss All of You Forever palette. But I did receive the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Pore Cleaning Toner. This product I love. So I this is my favorite product that I've gotten in here because I will use this and I absolutely love it. So that was like a steal. Um, I did get from Crown a Luxe brush set. So there were five brushes in here from Crown Beauty and these are all eyeshadow brushes. They're just white with rose gold trim on them. I did not realize how many eyeshadow brush kits we have been receiving from BoxyCharm. This is a lot. I also have from Dr. Brandt, this is the DNA Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So that's a good product. And then the other one is the Bali Balm. Bali Balm, not Balm. But this is the Sweet Orange and Coconut. So it's a lip balm and it's really, really good. I ended up buying more of these on their pop-up sales just because I loved it when I got it in my box before. So that is everything inside of my BoxyCharm Best of Base Bundle Kit. I made back way more than the $108 that I spent on this, but I still have concerns about expiration dates. And then I'm also just equally frustrated with BoxyCharm because I wanted to have a $200 mystery box. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this whole unboxing today and we will chit chat all about it. I probably would not do this again just because it was a hassle and it was such a fiasco to do it. It just wasn't a pleasant experience. Stay tuned for my premium Luxe mystery box from BoxyCharm. Bye guys.